This is brought to you by Queen Anne's County Department of Emergency Services. This is what you need to do to help save a life. First most important thing to do is identify the emergency and activate the 911 system. You must get help coming to you. This is a time critical situation. Also note where you are, if there's an AED possible, either yourself or someone else, run and get it immediately. The next step is to put your hands in the center of the chest and to compress down approximately one and a half to two inches a hundred times a minute. Easy way to do this is say to yourself, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000. You will continue to do that without any interruption until help arrives. If you've had past CPR training, just identify that this has changed throughout the years. And for bystanders, compression only CPR or hands only CPR has been proven to save lives. Continuous CPR is the goal circulating blood throughout the body. Once help arrives, identify what has happened to the help that arrives and give them a brief report. Then allow them to take over unless otherwise directed to continue what you're doing. You will be met by first responders, which may include a fire engine, local law enforcement agency, and or the local Department of Emergency Services paramedic unit. All people qualified to assist with your emergency will be there in person to apply the best technique and the best services possible to help save the person in need. Without you doing this first initial step and following the instructions of the dispatcher once you activate 911 and doing early hands-only CPR, your loved one or neighbor may not survive this catastrophic event. Know what to do when crisis strikes. Activate the emergency services by dialing 911 and start hands-only CPR. Two minutes of time could save somebody's life, even someone you love.